ஸ்ரீ குரு பிரோ நமஹா ஹரிஓம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த கிளாஸ் டுடேஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் ஸ்டார்டிங் வித் அ நியூ கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் ஆப் கிரியேஷன் சோ प्रीवियस டு திஸ் வாட் அண்ட் ஆல் யூ ஹேட் சீ வாஸ் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு एवरीथिंग ஆஃப் யுவர் கேம் கிரியேஷன் ரைட் சோ பட் வித் டுடேஸ் கிளாஸ் ஃபர்தர் ஆன் டுடேஸ் கிளாஸ் யூ வுட் பீ செக்கிங் அப் வித் த ஆப் கிரியேஷன் சோ वी ஹேவ் டன் the game in that tarasing game and some uh, loops concept and that conditional variables so all these concepts are already introduced into it but with the app application what are you doing is the same concepts will be used but in a different manner to get the output see what is the difference between this game as for playing games which you schedule it with a nice design of it but for the application something like your youtube facebook whatsapp everything are your application so for that you will be using it and uh, we will be going on first with the code org platform later on further we will see with the tangible platform also so that whenever is required you can uh, do in such a way that you can publish it to uh, google play store also all right so fine so let me share my screen and show you how are we starting with the app lab today we are creating a very basic um, app hope my screen is visible so this is the code org dashboard once you log in which you can see over here what are you supposed to do is create and you are supposed to go to the app lab app lab so once you go it loads the app lab screen Come, let's go inside and see what are the different parts in your app lab. As you are aware, every time in your uh, game lab, you can see as costumes and code. Over here, you'll have three parts: that is, design, code, and data. We'll not work on data because it is more advanced the database and everything. We are not going into it. We are using design and the code. So once I say design, the left side which you see is called as mobile simulator. so why is mobile simulator is required to see the output like how in the game lab you were seeing with your output right the same thing but this is mobile simulator why is it mobile simulator because it looks like a mobile for us okay and this is the toolbox so what is toolbox is nothing but the components so say for example you are using whatsapp what and all are there in your whatsapp you can see some messages you can send audio videos uh pictures and documents and much more things right and you can make the background image changes everything can be done <laughs> right so how can all this be done is just because of your design so how is the design coming up this is called as component say button so uh, on your in your mobile when you use so many things you click on buttons right even the send uh, which you see on your once you send a message once you type a message and you have to send it You see a green color arrow mark at the right side in your WhatsApp. It is also a button which is acting, right? So in such ways, we'll have many components. We'll be seeing up what each component does, and this is called properties. What is properties is nothing but say for the button or the text input, you want to change the color, the text, the height and width, or any other changes you can do it in properties. And if you want to duplicate, you can duplicate. and if you place a button or anything then you'll get an option called delete also okay today what are we doing in the app is a very small activity that is nothing but when you go to the word sorry word ms word microsoft word you put a text so what and all changes you can do in the text is nothing but you can do the changes of your text color background color for the text the size increase or decrease the font style these are the basic things which you can do for the um, world any text say hello world if you have typing so these are the properties which you can change it options in your ms word the same thing we are doing over here okay what we need first we have to write something right for that text so if we have to write something in a bigger sentence maybe a paragraph or anything then we use text area text area is nothing but an uh, component 
which is used to type something bigger sentences okay so you can extend the size of it like this way or otherwise with the height and width you can see here it can be changed even if i say 150 you see it has been changed here if it i don't want 150 i'll make it to 280 that will be like this so i have placed then so before going this you want to change the color of the screen so we have a default theme over here for the screen so you can change it when you uh, hover it you can see here it has been changed so whichever you want you can select them if you don't want any one of them also you don't like it any one of them also when you click on the screen you can see the property id remember to see what is the id so whichever you select if i click on this text area it changes to text area so it is kind of mentioning what component it is if you want you can change the background color over here so if you want something like a greenish color you can do the changes like so it's your wish okay so i have placed the text area over here and even if the text area color you want to change it you can always change it that is better now over here text color remember whatever color you give background color the opposite color let it be because otherwise when you type something you cannot see if you give the black color over your text okay and the text size also you can mention that is font size so if you want it as 20 something whichever the font size you can put okay now we will see how you can change the text color so i am writing text in white color right next i want something say here when i say run i want to type something see here it is written in white color okay but i should have an option to change the text color also right further on so how do i do i am creating a label label is nothing but to give an input what is it remember not to change your id otherwise you will forget it so you can say it as text color Let's increase the font size to 15 so it looks better for us. Then we are having a text in text input so that we can give the color. Adjust it how you want it. Okay. So then next I want to do with the uh, increase or decrease of the size. So what do I do? I take a label. Two labels and for one of the label i'm giving the text as plus sign so that it understands okay it should be the uh, let's make it to different color background color Increasing the height and width so it looks better for us. On size, in it to 20. Five. And text alignment to center. So it looks better for us. Same thing, I'm just doing it with the minus sign also. Now you can see here a plus sign label 
and a minus sign label so that you can increase or decrease the size of the text. Okay. Next, we are using a drop down. What is drop down component? It is nothing but where you have to use more and more options. So, what are we using for the style of it? So, the font style. Now, if you are not aware of what are the font styles available over here only, you can see the different fonts. Arial, giving it as remember to give as it is, otherwise it won't work. Then Courier, uh, whichever you want, you can put it up. Back or something further. I'm putting one more name. Back. So fine. Let me make this background as green only. It looks nice actually. Black is fine. All right. So this is what we want. So our design is complete. So what and all you need, you can change your background colors, and you can put actually you can put images to your background colors. I mean for your screen. How is that? Is when you click on screen, you have an image option choose. So you can upload the file over here, and you can put the images also. So now we'll go to the code option. What is the code? What we want? Whatever. First thing is, whatever I write the text over here, that color, say if I say it as blue, then whatever the text is written here, that color has to change to blue. So that means on event. On event is when I do something. When. When means on event. Please understand this. This is called as JavaScript language. It will not be like your. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, it will not be like your app lab or game lab where when click, when touch, or after some time, it will not be in your English. You have to get it with JavaScript coding language over here. Okay. So this is on event. On event means when. When I write something in this text input, when I hover on the component, you can see it is text input one, which is say. So I have to click on this triangle. I get all the components which I have used. I say text input one. So when I input, when input means nothing but I have given some details. So I say when I input some details in the text input, where I have to change the color in my text area, the text color has to change. So I have to say set property. You have set property. What is the set property? To do some changes. Okay, you're setting some property over here. Where are you setting? You're doing it text area. That is in this. In this text area, I'm changing the text color. To what color? From where are we getting? We have to get input from here, right? It's not red, green, or blue. We cannot decide. It is someone who runs this application, gives some color. So that color, you have to get it. How do you get that color? Is nothing but get text. So get text in the last row. From where are you getting? It is from text input one. So now let's see how it works. So when I say run, I'm typing something here. Hello. How are you? OK. So now if over here, I say as blue. See here, as soon as I type blue, it changed to blue. Now I say it as uh, yellow. Hello? Then red. So that means whatever color I give over here, that gets changed to the text. Right? So this is what had happened. 
Okay, next we'll go to the label of your plus and minus. So what did I say with the plus? Your text size should increase. Minus means your text size has to decrease. So to happen something like that, then means first you have to mention what should be the default text size. That is where your variables concept. So what you have to do? First, you should initialize. How is that in the game lab uh, you had done with the car racing, right? You give the uh, speed and the score. In the starting, you set it as zero, right? In the same way, you are setting the text values with some number. How you are setting? In place of X, you give it as size. So you'll remember it. Size in the starting, I'm giving it as 20. So whatever text I write in the starting, it will be in the size of 20 size. Okay. Now. How do I change it? When do I change it is when I click on this plus. So again, I have to come to UI control in that I have on event. On event means when. When I click on the plus sign. What is plus sign? Label 2. So when I click on this label 2, I have to increase the text size. How do I increase? So that means in your variables, first you have to increase. So x equals to, we're taking x equals to, place of x, you type it as size. So here, you are increasing by, uh, let's say, uh, 5, 5 pixels. Okay, so size plus 5. Okay, so size plus 5. Now let's see, but it will not do, because you have to say where it has to do the changes, right? So again, do I control where you have to do the changes? in your text area. So set property, your text area, the text you are changing. Remember here, text color you are changing according to the input. But over here, the size of the text you are changing. So it should be the text area text. What should be the text? Is nothing but the variable size. Let's run. Write something. Let's increase it. Oh, okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Go to variable. <coughs> Have to set the size. Okay, um, so I just give it. Right. So previously, there is an obstacle once so again. I'll reshare it once. Number. So here, what we were doing, we are increasing the size. So how is it? I made a mistake by selecting that text. It is not text, but we have to change the font size, right? So you have to choose it as font size. So in my font size, once I select font size, it is asking me the number over here. It has changed. But it's not a number according to over here it is doing. It is that every time I click on plus, its size has to increase by 5. That means I have to give here as size. Okay. So now let's let's run and see. So with this, once I write something, I click on plus sign. You see this? It is increasing this. The same thing I have to do it for the minus sign. So what do I do? Back on event 
this is my label 3 when you hover it you will be able to see it label 3 and then over here you say click is same and your variables x equals you say it has remember to give the same names otherwise it will get confused size minus 5 once you do, then come back to UI control and say set property. In this, where are we changing? We are changing with text area, font size. This will be the size edition. Now let's see whether how much it works. I say hello. As I click on plus sign, it is increasing. I click on minus it is decreasing so it is working fine so my text color is also working my uh, plus and minus is also working last is your font style what do you need on event where are you clicking on your drop down so it should be your drop down this is your change And once you are done, you have to set the property where are you setting? You are setting it to text area. To which are you doing? Font family. Remember it is font family. Font family and you are getting the uh, details from your drop down so get text from your drop down let's run getting something increase the size now when i click on this and change it to courier you see the text style is changed. If I change it to format, right? So like this, okay? So it's very simple, very less codings which we have done. What and all we have done, we have seen how we can make the changes of the size increase or decrease and how you can change the font style and the text color, okay? Once you're done, please rename it maybe with the I am giving us text editor. You can give any name and say save. And from now on, once you save it, you will have to click on share and say copy link to project. And that link, you will have to share it to me in the WhatsApp. Okay. So that is how you do. So for today's class project is the same activity which you are doing. Now. So what are you doing? Text color, font size increase or decrease and the font style. You can put uh, show me up with a different design and everything and with a different uh, font styles also. Okay, that is font style. Hope everyone has understood this. The simple, very basic application which we have done today will be increasing the level of this understanding of this. Today, we just, just click and change and do. Further on, we'll use the loops and do the classes. Hope everyone enjoyed. Please do the project and submit it as soon as possible. We'll meet you up in the next video. Bye.